Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week, we continue our series on the question of retained ownership and a topic that's came up for a lot of cow calf operations that typically sell at weaning over the past few weeks, given some considerations we have about drought and early weaning calves. And as we move on past those first two weeks, this is the week that we talk about beef quality grades and specifically what they are. So a USDA beef quality grade gets assigned to a beef carcass to indicate the tenderness, juiciness, and flavor of cooked beef. Specifically, if we think about what a USDA grader is looking at whenever they assign those quality grades to beef carcasses, two primary things. The degree of marbling in the ribeye at the interface between the 12th and 13th rib of a hanging beef carcass, where that carcass is actually going to be ribbed open, and the maturity that they would put that beef carcass in. We want to address the maturity concept first because the A maturity group that most calf fed and yearlings that go through finishing are going to fall into basically is designed to catch cattle that are from about nine months of age to 30 months of age. So I always say, regardless in conventional beef production, regardless of when we send those calves to the finishing yard, if we're starting off with lighter weight calves that maybe haven't been turned into yearlings or long yearlings in either case, conventional beef production, we tend to feed those cattle or finish them on a high energy corn-based diet for at least 150 days. The objective is to tap their genetic potential to marble. And so they're gonna come out of finishing and reach their compositional endpoint within that A maturity group. So in that sense, the big thing that drives the quality grade of A maturity cattle is gonna be their marbling score. Now marbling scores are gonna be assigned by a USDA grader and possibly with a little instrumental supplementation information going along with it, that marbling score is gonna to correspond to a specific yield grade. What are the best potential quality grades that we see assigned to A maturity cattle? Prime is our highest quality grade. The prime quality grade means we should have the most tenderness, juiciness, and flavor, and eating satisfaction out of a cut of cooked beef. The quality grade of choice falls just below that. The quality grade of select falls just below that, and the standard quality grade would actually be our lowest quality grade for A maturity cattle. We, if we take a look at the accompanying chart, we see that prime can be split into thirds, the quality grade of choice can be split into thirds based on marbling score. That has significance because if we are selling fed cattle on a carcass value basis, there's a lot of the quality-based premium branded programs, think something like CAB or Certified Angus Beef, that one of the specs to, to certify there is being in the upper two-thirds of choice or actually prime. So as we look at grids, carcass value marketing, over time, historically, quality grade is the big driver of economic incentive that gives beef carcasses more value. So, obviously, the genetic potential of beef cattle to marble is going to be really important because when we think about marbling as a fat deposit, it's one of the fat deposits we find in a beef carcass, but it's one we can't really see in the live animal itself. When we talk about finishing cattle to a compositional endpoint, that compositional endpoint is based more on external fat thickness that indicates to us that they should have that marbling inside that we hope is there. So the whole finishing process itself is to get a high energy diet in those cattle to tap that genetic potential to marble. So the amount of time spent on feed as that increases, we're gonna to tend to drive up quality grades on beef carcasses and just the genetic potential within breeds and between breeds is a big player in that variability and genetic potential to actually reach the higher quality grades. I hope this helps, and thanks for joining us this week on Cow-Calf Corner.